and we are going to take a look at just where we are in the retail recovery, where the consumer is uh, as well in this. Monica was just telling you about the level of foreclosures out there. Well, our next guest has an area of retail that he's watching and he's finding a bright spot here, particularly when you take a look at home improvements. This is a, a little bit of a surprise. Tell me, Greg, why are you, this is Greg Mellick of Morgan Stanley, tell me why are you uh, looking for growth here in, in home improvement? Well, look, it's been bad for over three years. The comps have been negative. Uh, both companies have slowed their uh, square footage growth down to effectively zero. Mm -hmm. And uh, our lead indicator is telling us that existing home sales have been positive. That's bringing traffic back to the stores. Mm -hmm. And now as home prices start to fall less, people start to spend money again when they come to the stores. So we actually think comps will turn positive by the second quarter uh, for both Home Depot and Lowe's. And for Home Depot and Lowe's. But as Monica was just telling us, though, a fifth of homeowners mortgages were underwater in the fourth quarter. Today, from the Federal Reserve, uh, there's focus as well on mortgage-backed securities ending those purchases at the end of March. The bottom line there, concern that maybe mortgage rates will go up. Yep. So there still is this degree of pressure here on homeowners. Why do you think that we may see them start to spend? Well, look, on the consumer is certainly not out of the woods. And uh, for a certain part of the market, those that are underwater, we wouldn't expect them to do any big projects. Mm -hmm. But remember, a third of America owns its home outright. And as long as their home prices are starting to stabilize and more and more homes are changing hands, mm -hmm. uh, history has shown, 30 years of history, that that will bring back demand. So I don't think last year we were in a great spot either. But now we're getting some secondary of improvement that is really the most powerful we've seen in years. So that's why we think it's going to happen. And this is a, a Morgan Stanley proprietary index that you're referring to It's here. our home improvement lead indicator that we've been using for years to help us predict comps in six months' time. I don't know if we have a chart of it or not. We should, but um, I can point people to your research report uh, and that uh, forecasting tool. But take me outside of spending on the home. When mm -hmm. you look at electronics, when you look at some of the big-ticket items, uh, apart from, you know, kitchen sink, so what are consumers able to spend on right now? Well, look, at, we think overall retail sales this year are probably up around 1% versus having fallen around 25 last year. So that's still not gangbusters. Normal will be something like 4 to 5%. But in that recovery, you'll have winners and losers. We think housing and homes in a relatively good position versus mm -hmm. last year. We think electronics is in a tough place because the mobile internet could really disintermediate uh, pricing for a lot of companies, particularly Best Buy. Uh, we also think some other areas uh, of, of consumers, such as apparel that did well in the fourth quarter, may have a harder time into this year. I'm hearing so much much these days about mobile. You just talked about this change mm -hmm. in, you know, Chris Villier was out in California talking to us about the applications and the way to make purchases, but mm -hmm. you see a change in what consumers buy simply because of their accessibility via mobile. Uh, look, at the game changer with the mobile internet is now people can be in a store and with shop savvy uh, or any of these other things you can get on the iPhone or the Droid, you can take a picture of a UPC code and get a location specific price. Uh, for whatever it is you're shopping for. Mm -hmm. and, and before you would have had to go home. Let's say you're looking for a TV, you have to go home, put it in on right. price grab or whatever and get the price. Now you're in the store, you take a picture of it and immediately you know who has it in stock at a lower price. So we think uh, that will really pressure gross margins for the industry. It's just that they're not going to enjoy uh, the gross margins they had in the past. Because basically there's no reason to, to go into the brick and mortar? Well, the, um, People might still go into the brick and mortar to see the product, and if, the, if they're in stock, they're, they're, they could still win the sale. But the, the reality is uh, the consumer now has a choice. They have more information. Mm -hmm. So in the past, there would have been people that would have had to go on home. So they said, you know what, I'll buy it anyway. It's $20. Who cares? Now it's that easy. They can just see, oh, across the street, it might be $10 cheaper. Maybe I'll go over there. All right. Thank you so much, Thanks, Greg Mellick of Morgan Stanley.